The Lady of Mali, also known as the White Lady of Africa, stands as a mysterious giant worm figure sculpted on Mount Laura, located north of Guinea Conakry, near the borders of Senegal and Mali in West Africa. Discovered in 1997 by Italian geologist Angelo Pitoni during a search for diamond deposits, the statue's existence has been marked by controversy due to the challenges in dating its origin accurately. History and official archaeology have failed to provide a definitive timeline for the statue's creation. The prevailing uncertainty stems from the inability to determine whether the statue is a result of erosion or a meticulously crafted masterpiece. The former theory is dismissed due to the region's limited wind and abrasive particles, making it unlikely for natural forces to shape the granite cliff into such a distinct figure. Adding to the enigma is the statue's unusual feature, a Caucasian face, a stark departure from typical African facial features. Initial predictions place the statue's origin at 5,000 years, but recent tests on surface sediments suggest a staggering age of up to 25,000 years, unsettling the scientific community. Angelo Pitoni's discoveries extended beyond the Lady of Mali. He also unearthed the blue stones or stones from heaven. These stones, deemed artificial by the Geneva Institute of Natural Sciences, pose another mystery, hinting at a civilization that may have synthesized materials millennia ago. The Lady of Mali and the Stone of Heaven seem intricately connected, pointing to the existence of an ancient, advanced civilization stretching from Sierra Leone to Guinea, and possibly Mali. This civilization is thought to have flourished between 12,500 and 35,000 years ago, aligning with archaeological findings of advanced civilizations during the last ice age, such as underwater structures off the Cuban coast, and the colossal Yanaguni structure in Japan. The discoveries in this part of Africa suggest traces of a forgotten ancient civilization akin to Atlantis, concrete evidence, including caves with ancient mummies guarded by locals, further fuels speculation about an Atlantean origin. While Angelo Pitoni's endeavors have shed light on these intriguing finds, archaeological research in the area remains scarce leaving the extent of this ancient civilization largely unexplored.